G'day. In this video I'm making some rollers in nylon 66. They need to be in three different sizes in the OD. So the hub part or the spigot at each end of eight diameter I'll be doing with the parting tool and the OD I'll be doing with the turning tool and that way uh, I only have to shift the X offset for the turning tool and I can make the next batch of six so to speak. So you can see I'm only doing the OD with the turning tool and then the parting tool does the spigot at each end. And I figured that would be the best way to do it. And there you can see what happens when you forget to put the right tool in the turret. Um, that's a 55 degree tool cut that instead of a 35 as I planned whenever you use the back of a tool to do your cutting like I'm doing in this job you've got to make sure that your cutting path your tool path goes where you need it to to give you the correct dimensions on the part and that drawing there gives you an idea of the offset I had to use in this instance that's a 4mm CNC stub drill they cut beautifully doesn't matter what you need to cut, they cut beautifully, they're really good. That insert was a VCGT with an AG code on the end. In Sumitomo's language, the AG makes it a insert for cutting aluminium. There's one of my parting tools at work. That's a Sumitomo uh, tool as well. a bit of a bump on the end of that spigot which will be reduced a bit in the next sample that we make these parts were actually made a long time ago and I really can't remember what I did to get rid of the bump that I was getting on the end of each spigot on the inside end it didn't occur on the outside end but there is definitely a bump on the end towards the chuck. It's just a programmed pause so we can get rid of any swarf that's become entangled in the job. When doing plastic I usually do that because uh, it's just easier than waiting for it to make a mess and then you have to restart the program. So this time the shape's right. See the drilling doesn't take much time at all. There's that AG insert again. And by shifting the offset of that half a millimetre a time for each six, uh, the job was done fairly easily. There's a program pause that was needed to get rid of some swarf. There's a spigot being made on that end. And a better looking now on that end I took the burr off the edge of the hole with this tool here brilliant tool should have bought one of those years ago all right that's about it thank you for watching